Hey everyone, welcome back to Memory Lane Moments, where we dive into the most unforgettable trends and moments from the past. Today, we're time-traveling back to the 1980s, a decade known for its bold style, innovative tech, and unforgettable fads. So grab your neon headbands and leg warmers, and let's get started. But first, if you love 80s nostalgia, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so we can continue to bring you amazing content. It really does help the channel. First up, we have the Rubik's Cube. This 3D puzzle wasn't just a toy, it was a worldwide obsession. Picture this, millions of people twisting and turning, trying to match those colors. The cube wasn't just a brain teaser, it became a symbol of the 80s, sparking competitions, and even a dedicated fan base. Whether you solved it in seconds or just peeled the stickers off, everyone remembers their first cube. Now, let's slide into leg warmers. These weren't just for dancers, they became a fashion statement. Imagine colorful, cozy tubes of fabric that screamed, I'm ready to dance or just look like I can. They were the perfect companion to aerobics, a trend we'll touch on later, and showed the world that you were on top of the 80s fashion game. And who could forget MTV? Launched in 1981, MTV didn't just play music, it transformed the industry with music videos. For the first time, you could see your favorite bands and artists. Not just hear them, it was like a 24-7 party in your living room, introducing the world to icons like Madonna and Michael Jackson in ways never seen before. Chomping its way to number four, it's Pac-Man. This arcade game had everyone hooked with simple yet addictive gameplay. Picture arcades filled with the sounds of munching and ghost chasing. Pac-Man wasn't just a game, it became a symbol of pop culture inspiring everything from t-shirts to lunchboxes. Next, let's cuddle up with Cabbage Patch Kids. These dolls weren't just toys, they were adopted. Each came with its own birth certificate, making every kid feel like they were bringing home a new family member. The demand was so high that stores couldn't keep them on the shelves, leading to the first big holiday toy craze of the decade. Let's break it down with breakdancing. This wasn't just a dance, it was an art form, a way of life. The streets became stages where dancers spun, popped, and locked their way into history. It was a form of expression, a competitive sport, and for many, a way to escape and make a name for themselves. If you wanted to be cool in the 80s, you needed a members-only jacket. This wasn't just any jacket, it was a status symbol. With that unmistakable label on the front, everyone knew you were part of the in crowd. It was like wearing your coolness on your sleeve, literally. Now let's talk hair. Mullets, to be precise. Business in the front, party in the back. This hairstyle was bold, to say the least. It was a style that said, I'm serious, and I know how to have fun, all at once. Celebrities, musicians, and even the guy next door were rocking mullets, and love it or hate it. It's an unmistakable icon of the 80s. Brightening things up, we have neon clothing. The 80s were about standing out, and nothing said, look at me, quite like neon. These vibrant hues were everywhere, from socks and shirts to scrunchies and sunglasses. It was like the decade decided to turn up the brightness, and fashion was all the better for it. Next, let's walk and rock with the Walkman. This wasn't just a portable cassette player, it was freedom. For the first time, you could take your music with you, creating a soundtrack for your life. The streets were filled with people donning headphones, bobbing to beats only they could hear. It was a personal, portable revolution. Powering our way to number 11 are shoulder pads. These weren't just fashion, they were an attitude. Picture every 80s power suit, making men and women alike look broader, bolder, and ready to take on the world. It was a time when bigger was better, and shoulders were no exception symbolizing strength and confidence in every seam. Let's get physical with aerobics. This wasn't just exercise, it was a social movement with leotards, leg warmers, and high-energy beats. Icons like Jane Fonda led the charge, turning fitness into a fun, fashionable, and utterly 80s experience. Homes across the globe were jumping, stretching, and sweating their way to health, all with a big smile and even bigger hair. Next up, smiley faces. This simple symbol was everywhere, from t-shirts and buttons to stickers and more. It wasn't just a fad, it was a message of happiness and peace, a beacon of positivity in a world that was rapidly changing. Whether you had a bad day or the best day ever, a smiley was there to brighten your mood. Now, let's test our knowledge with Trivial Pursuit. This wasn't just a board game, 
It was a battle of wits and a social staple. Launched in the early 80s, it quickly became the go-to activity for parties and family gatherings. With a pie of colors and a wealth of questions, it turned everyone into a quiz master, one wedge at a time. Breezing in at 15 are parachute pants. Inspired by breakdancing culture, these weren't just pants. They were a statement. Loose, comfortable, and undeniably cool, they gave everyone the freedom to move, dance, and express themselves. Whether you were on the dance floor or just liked the style, these pants made sure everyone knew you had arrived. Now, let's get a little wild with Garbage Pail Kids. These trading cards weren't for the faint-hearted. They were outrageous, gross, and utterly 80s. Parodying the popular Cabbage Patch Kids, they offered a twisted take on the collectible craze, complete with bizarre names and even stranger images. They were the perfect way to shock your friends and have a good laugh. Stepping into 17 are Jelly's shoes. These weren't just footwear, they were a fashion phenomenon. Made of brightly colored, translucent plastic, they were affordable, fun, and a little bit funky. Whether you loved them for their comfort or their style, one thing's for sure, wearing them made every step a little more colorful. At 18, we have the VHS versus Betamax war. This wasn't just about videotapes, it was a battle for the future of home entertainment. On one side, Sony's Betamax, known for its quality. On the other, JVC's VHS, with longer recording time. The rivalry was fierce, and while VHS ultimately won out, both formats changed how we watched movies forever. Blasting into 19 are boomboxes. These weren't just portable radios, they were personal sound systems, a way to share your music with the world. Whether on the shoulder of a breakdancer or sitting by the beach, boomboxes were a symbol of the times, big, loud, and unapologetically cool. And finally, striking a pose at 20, glamour shots. This wasn't just a photo session, it was a transformation. Everyone from teens to grandparents headed to the mall, ready to be dolled up and captured in their best light. With soft focus, dramatic lighting, and often plenty of hairspray, these portraits let everyday people shine like celebrities. Glamour shots were more than just photographs, they were keepsakes of an era, capturing the bold and beautiful essence of the 80s.